Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Pets, people, pop culture. Hello, everyone. I'm Sam, the queen of rock and roll dogs, and you are listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio. It's a rock and roll show all about pets, people, and pop culture. I'm live from Las Vegas, and today I'm talking about cycling from one country to another in the name of animal rescue, wrapping kittens, and more. So stay right there. Bring on the host, Sam, the queen of rock and roll dogs. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, as I said earlier, I am live from Las Vegas and uh, got a great show lined up for you today. A really great show lined up. And a couple of things I want to tell you about that are kind of fun. And before we do that, let's... uh, tell you how you can connect with us on the internet. So um, I'm going to say good morning to my husband, Jim, because I haven't even said good morning to him today. <laughs> That's correct. I leave you alone in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I love the daytime. You love the nighttime. I love the nighttime. What's and that song? I like to boogie. Evelyn, that is my song. Yeah. That is my on the disco song. round. That is my song. Uh, yeah, as much as I um, like to chat and I love to be with people and all that stuff, not in the morning. Don't even, I can't even speak in the morning, can I, Jim? I do these funny hand signals. Yeah, it's just not worth bothering. It's not worth it, yeah. I'm one of those people, if I fall asleep on on the sofa and you go to bed and leave me and I wake up and find that you didn't tell me, I'd be mad. I'm also that person that if I fall asleep on the sofa and you wake me up to go to bed, I'm going to be really mad. (laughs) There's no winning as the gym in that particular situation. (laughs) Uh, So I try not to fall asleep on the sofa. It's one of those things. It's the best feeling to fall asleep on the sofa. And it's also the worst feeling to wake up and find you're still on the sofa. It's worse when the hip hurts and you're cold. Yes, that that's also not a good part of falling asleep on the sofa. But the initial falling asleep is like the best feeling, like clean sheets on your bed. Anyway, I've definitely gone down a different path there. Um, yes, this is how you can connect with us on the internet. And it's really, really easy. Our main website is VegasRockDogRadio.com. That's the hub of the show. And that's where you can listen to the show live by clicking the Listen Live link. Or you can catch up on past shows. Now, we do have another, we call it a show, but it's like a micro show, which is really our pet tip of the day. And that's on there as well. And you can click and get a, a quick tip on um, anything from saving money as a pet parent to, uh, you know, new medical breakthroughs, those kind of things. And, uh, we, of course, you can find us on iTunes and iHeartRadio. I think they're the t- most two most popular um, apps that people will have where they can listen to the show. And if you happen to have other apps that you like to listen to podcasts on, because we throw the show up after the live show as a podcast, you will find us, I think, on just about every single podcast app (laughs) that is out there and if a new one pops up we add ourselves to that as well so we make it very easy and very accessible for people to listen to the show if they don't catch it live uh this is where else you're going to find us and uh, we'll pop up periodically on periscope facebook of course twitter pinterest tumblr and instagram and uh, we have a great blog it's called the rock and roll dog.com and we tell you who's coming on the show, who's been on the show. We put the, the show back up on there as well. That's where all our honest reviews go up. And because uh, we want to bring you the best information, the best products that we can find that, that we would use for our pets. And trust me, I am picky. <laughs> I am very, very picky. But that's where we, we do the reviews and they are often coupled with a giveaway, which is always nice. So you get to try it for yourself as well. We do have an app and the app is yap.us, Y-A-P-P dot U-S. And just find Vegas Rock Dog Radio and download it. It's free. Yay. We love free. We love free. But the iHeartRadio seems to be probably our most popular app. You'll also find us on Spreaker. And uh, I think that's it. That's enough places. Please, no one, no one create another platform. I can't take it. <laughs> it's funny because I think some people spend more time on social media promoting their business than doing their business. <laughs> it's definitely a balance that you have to strike when it comes to social media. And it's funny because uh, some platforms work better for 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 people than other platforms. Um, I have a friend whose dog has thirty six thousand followers on Instagram. 
you know, and that's that's the platform that blew up for them. But of course, it's visual and he's adorable, so that always works. <laughs> so uh, a couple of things that happened this week. Uh, did you see the video, Jim, of the um, pregnant dog? The um, the dog was being fostered, and it had its had its puppies, and the his foster mom was laid on the ground, yeah, in the room, being respectful of you know the new mummy dog with with all these puppies, and the dog. They said the dog felt a little bit unsure, and so gave her all the puppies one by one, picked them up in the mouth and put and laid them all over her. She was like smothered in puppies. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I didn't see it. That's, a, that's definitely a trust thing, isn't it? Sure the, is. That really, really adorable, adorable video. Now, the other funny one that I saw was um, Kitten Lady. You know who Kitten Lady is? No, She's the but I'm sure I'm going to find out. Yeah, you are. She's the daughter of, um, what's his name from Styx? Oh, Tommy Shaw's daughter. It's Tommy Shaw's daughter, yeah. She's called the Kitten Lady? She's called the Kitten Lady, yeah. And she um, she looks after neonatal kittens. And I've learned a lot from, from what she posts. I mean, an incredible amount of what she posts. And yeah, her dad is, what's his name again? Tommy, Tommy Shaw. Tommy Shaw, that's right, from Sticks, the rock, you know, the rock band, Tommy. Uh, the renegade who had it made. Oh, Retrieved okay. for a bounty. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's our rock and roll part of the show for today. Um, they have a charity, and they have a charity that helps people and helps animals. And um, she's on my list of guests to bring on the show. I really love the work that she does, and that's definitely a 24-hour <laughs> 24 round-the-clock you know, thing to do for kittens. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but I've learned a lot from her. But she has a video out right now. Is it a video? A video. It's a video. Is it a video? Oh, we should tell people about how funny that is, Jim. Um, that'll be my next story. She she would do these little wraps. She'd have the kitten and she'd wrap with the little kitten. Yeah. Well, they got so popular, these, these very short videos, that she put them in a big compilation. And so it's kittens wrapping. And it's absolutely fantastic. And it's probably one of the best things she could do to promote what she does really fun really unusual um so yeah so i'll, I'll put a link up for, uh, for those those two videos it's nice to, to see a video that makes you smile because heck we see a lot that, that make us cry don't we jim every day it's really tough you know th- what's happening with animals around the world mm-hmm. so and of course we get tagged in everything so that makes it even harder <laughs> it makes it even harder There's plenty the reason why we say the video yeah this will make you laugh this is a friend of mine lana reese Fantastic girl, actress, singer, makeup artist, uh, voiceover artist, amazing girl. But she has this funny thing that she does, and <laughs> I fell for it, even though I'm a fan of what she does. She goes to Disney. She does it to lots of people, but she loves Disney. So she goes to Disney. She goes to all the characters, you know, the, uh, what's her name, 101 Dalmatians, Cruella de Vil, uh, the queen, the evil queen from Snow White, and she goes and says, hey, can we have a selfie? But there's no intention of having a selfie. It's actually a video, yeah. But she is hilarious. They stand there for ages. And they're posing and, you know, moving their heads and still looking at the camera. And then it clicks all of a sudden that <laughs> she's not taking a photo. And these videos are hilarious. So the evil queen from <laughs> Snow White, she went, she says, why is it taking so long? <laughs> and then she goes, it's a video. <laughs> she was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> did it to Aladdin. She did it to everybody. <laughs> she did it to everybody. So we're in a, a nightclub with her. And she's like, let's have a selfie. We all jump in there. And I cannot believe I fell for it. Because <laughs> I'm a big fan of these videos. I'm like, I can't believe this girl. But uh, yeah, she's uh, another animal loving friend of ours. And uh, yeah, so that's what we say. It's a video. We'll be saying that for years to come. It's a video. But very, very, very funny. But she was very mad, the queen. It's like, don't get on the wrong side of that queen from Snow White. She was, she was a ticked off, wasn't she, Jim? Yep. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So let's do a big introduction. Do we even have a drum roll? I think we even have sound effects somewhere. <laughs> well, that's not what I was expecting. It's the but same drum roll from Vacation. <laughs> oh, from Christmas Vacation movie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Special, high tech special. <laughs> I'm done with that. Now, some people, this, 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 I've got this great guest coming on the show who's waiting in the wings right now, yeah? And then we've got the drum roll going uh, and the spotlight. Uh, and th- it, what this person g- has done in the past and is going to do again, it, 
can be seen as both inspirational and absolutely crazy <laughs> because, <laughs> and I hope I pronounced the name correctly, but I have Toby Borum on, on the line. Are you there, Toby? I am indeed. Thank yes! You for me. Aren't, you relieved, aren't you relieved we're connected? I mean, absolutely. It was Vegas. I'm, I'm sure he's been listening to you the whole time. Yeah, but you know, not I until those. Oh, yes, I indeed. Yes. Not not until those mics open up, though. Do you have a sigh of relief, Jim? Because you know we're across the world, so. Uh, indeed. But we won't have any translation issues, will we, Toby? <laughs> None whatsoever. No, uh, well, a, a few American. I might English have to step in. Sidewalk pavement. <laughs> issues but apart from that none whatsoever <laughs> I know. well welcome to the show i'm so glad you could come on Thank the show um, i'm going to tell you how you. i learned all about you um uh -huh. i i don't even know how i learned about tina tina from galgos del sol but mm -hmm. i somehow came across her fantastic videos which are just i think they're, they're catalysts for they're everything brilliant. Aren't, Absolutely they, brilliant. aren't they amazing i, I keep are. saying Watch to people, them. they're funny they are funny and I th but they get a great message across whether it's a bit uh -huh. sad or they've managed to do it in a way that's positive and yes. I, I don't know i don't know whether this is just very instinctual for her or she planned it that way. i don't really know but it works and i often say to people if you're going to do video, hop over to Tina's page and see what she's doing mm -hmm. because it works it, and it works incredibly yeah. well. And it translates she well. She got me. Uh, is that how she got you then? <laughs> well, yes. You know, it, one, you view a couple, you're hooked, aren't you? you know, yeah. It's, uh, it's, yeah that's, it, yes. I, I call it their, um, it's like their reality show over there. This is yes. their daily reality show and I tune in for an episode to see what's going on and all these dogs her own, her own dogs in particular have become characters in the reality show and it's amazing Absolutely. amazing how people are attached to each one of them i mean they, yeah. they've got fans <laughs> uh, and when you go out there and, and meet them you just feel so honored that you're sharing a sofa <laughs> with her dogs because they're just so <laughs> big great big heroes of yours which yeah. you've followed for months and months and seen them in all these videos and so funny and everyone talks about them i know you can actually sit on a sofa with them and feed them and, and feed you feel them. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's brilliant the That's hierarchy has changed the hierarchy is different it's like we're below it's the we're way it should be we're below them <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. put them on a pedestal and to be, and for them to convey the message through, you know through them is just brilliant and i just i'm never tired of any of the videos i'm like oh what are they doing now yeah. i have the, the, yep. the, i have them on that little list you know that your preferred uh you know list of people you want to see first when you get on facebook well they're clearly on the very very top there but uh, so you mm -hmm. so you like me and jim and thousands of other people came across this amazing video and was like wow uh -huh. i'm just blown away by what they're doing so how did you end up how long were you at uh gal Gostel Sol when you went to volunteer well, it's it's it was through the videos, and then you learn that you can uh, you can go and spend a holiday working in 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 their kennels and yeah. and meet Granny Pants and Hank and <laughs> and anything like that. And uh, so yes, you you get a, a flight out to Spain and you stay in some accommodation and you spend a week, a wonderful time. We're doing wonderful work with with dogs and it's just brilliant so I, I think, that's how i met tina i think people really enjoy um and it's becoming more and more popular they call it volun volunteerism is what they call it mm. and i think yep. it's becoming more and more popular where you just feel like you're doing some good as well as having a holiday yeah. as well I, I, could, I i don't know about you i could spend about 20 minutes on a on a beach right read a book for five minutes <laughs> i get bored really easily yes. Uh, and I just love dogs. And you go yeah. on a holiday and you've got 80 dogs and the sun. And it yeah. can't get any better than that, can it, it? It really can't. I mean, I've been astounded as to what Tina's been able to do and all her supporters. Yeah. I mean, astounded. I mean, that yeah. I talked to Tina. Well, I've had her on the show twice. And so the first uh -huh. time was prior to anything being built. And um, it, it, to see that that day when, and I know she had a really hard time which yes. was i've always been with yep. them and now i'm moving them and i know it's the best thing for them but this is what we've always known i mean uh -huh. I, I felt that with her it's like she's lived this yep. life and now it's going to change for the better but how what a what a drastic change and every time i see yeah. progress i'm just 
I'm just blown away. I mean, I really, really yeah. am. Yeah, she has seen, you know, um, both GDS there and for Forever Hounds Trust here yeah. in, in Great Britain. You know, but for, for, for people who founded it, uh, Angela here in, in, in Great Britain, Tina also over in Spain, are just incredible people. But yeah. they've seen the plight of these dogs mm. and just turned their lives upside down yeah. um, to, to to help them. And I know so many people do, and it kind of puts cycling for a couple of weeks yeah. into perspective, you yeah. know. Yeah. My bit's going to end. Yes. Won't, and yes. if I can just help out in, in, in any way, you know, that's 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 what I want to do. Now so. the um the Forever Hounds Trust, they've had what, is it a twentieth mm -hmm. anniversary? Yes, we had a twentieth birthday um last year. That's phenomenal. Um, it, yes. Um talk about, you know, mighty oaks from yeah. small acorns. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're Forever Hounds Trust is, is now the UK's largest independent greyhound charity. Oh, and you know the greyhounds uh, they manage they... to match uh, you know around 500 oh, pounds to their forever home that's amazing every single year that's... through a wow huge army of volunteers um and i would just love to see their work continue yeah. as well as tina's work continue yeah. and as i say if i sit on the bike twiddle my legs for a little bit do about 100 miles a day <laughs> uh, for two weeks end up doing one half thousand miles if, if I can help promote and get some necessary funds and everything, um, then if I can do that, then I'm going to do it. It's incredible. Now, the, now you did the you did the ride, and I was telling my husband Jim, he's a big cyclist, so he's very excited, uh -huh. and he's got he's going to have some questions for you. But you did the the uh, John O'Groats to Lands End. So for anyone that's listening in that yes. doesn't know about England, that's basically from the you know from the tip to the tail essentially of the country. That's what it is. Yep. And it is indeed. And yep. it's if you were to do that without stopping, which is impossible. How many days mm -hmm. is that? Like four days or something? Uh, if, if well. What would you think? Incredibly, some people do do that, and they oh. do it in three days. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> That's yes, so say it quickly, and it doesn't hurt. <laughs> think about it, and <laughs> your legs really start to ache. But, um, <laughs> they do. No, um, ten, I, I did it in ten days. I started off down in Cornwall, Land's End, yep. and ended up in top of Scotland, John the Groats, um, Averaging around 100 miles a day. Goodness. Had a short break up here in Chester where I only did 50 miles. Did you? I'm and sure I you had a big my... welcome party there, though, because that's where you're from. Yes, yes. It coincided with our, uh, with our, uh, one of our events, a uh, summer fair that, that we had. Oh, that's perfect. Um, pun? That's what, that was perfect then, wasn't it? You know, cause it, it raised even more awareness. perfect. Um and uh, the next day I had to make up some miles, so I, I planned to do 130. Right. Uh, but you guys had, had finished with a hurricane called Bertha. Oh. Um, so Timing. on Saturday, or, or, yeah, uh, with, <laughs> with, uh, with, with the um, uh, party that, that we had, we had beautiful weather and ice cream and everything else. And the next day when I planned to do the 130 miles, I got outside the house and it was as if someone dumped a oh. bucket of cold water over my head oh. and said, right. Now, how now have a long journey to uh, so yes, yeah, knock yourself so hopefully out. Hopefully, no surprises, no <laughs> right. more hurricanes that people don't want on the next trip will is, be, um, is will that be not, appreciated. That's insane. Now, was that for the Forever Hounds Trust when you did that particular ride? That, yeah, that, that was for the Forever Hounds Trust, yeah. Um, and uh, people were fantastic with their um, donations and with their help, and we managed to raise uh just over six thousand seven hundred pounds that's amazing uh, for that which was yeah and the brilliant and, allowed, and the awareness allowed to work to, yes uh, um, spread the awareness um got more people involved which is brilliant um and con continued the work and uh, then it was a case of that was brilliant i've, I've always wanted to look at a map I don't know if your husband's the same, but wanted to look at a map and, of the world and go, I cycle from that bit to that bit. And I thought, well, I've done that now. Oh, um, yeah, off the list. And then, of course, Galgo del Sol. And we were planning to go out there and spend a holiday with, with the dogs and 
I can't remember what it was. There's a little bit of trouble with the airlines, and I said it would um, it would probably be easier to cycle, wouldn't it? Half <laughs> is, that, ingest. is that how you came um, up with it? <laughs> yeah. I don't do social. I don't do social media. My my my, my wonderful partner Karen right. uh, does. It went on social media, and then she showed me the next day of <laughs> all these people going yeah. cycling to Spain, Toby. Yay! Well done. We'll help. <laughs> Um, and so that, that is it, really. Oh, um, my gosh. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Now, is um, is this... Can I get you to do that? What, to cycle away from you? No. <laughs> to just another cycle. country? <laughs> we'll just have to cycle somewhere for, like, days at a time. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm all over You're that. all about that, aren't mm-hmm. you, Jim? Jim sure loves am. cycling. Our brother-in-law did the... He was on the team for the... He did the race across America. Yeah, he, he was... on the support, wow. support team, and that got him interested in cycling yeah. uh, by being part uh-huh. of that uh, crew. Yeah, it, he said it was actually probably harder for the crew because they literally did stay awake 24 hours a day, yeah. feeding them. Yeah. It, uh, they, I mean, they had a... Um, who was with them that does all the testing of the blood? So they, they had a the doctor right and a massage therapist. It was the, and it was the most insane the nutritionist. thing. Nutritionist, yeah, they were they were really dialed in. Yeah, so we went down yeah. to San Diego, you know where it's where it starts. Uh, actually, we <laughs> sponsored them, didn't we? They had yeah. our T-shirts on from our company and everything, and it, it finished in where? It so started in Oceanside and Washington? finished in Annapolis. Annapolis, Maryland, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was um, wow. I couldn't believe the team that was put behind that. It was insane. Yeah. But he said, he, he, he said you get so tired and very emotional, and I'm sure you did on yeah. that big ride. Was there, a t- yes. was there a time you're like, oh, like, how can I even? How do you go through that? How do you go through? I want to give up. To I'm not giving up. How does that go? Um, or did you even have that uh, on that ride? Yeah, you do. But it's all about the hounds. Yeah. And you you, you don't think about the, the the big hill at the end of of the day, or what's going to happen next day, or the 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 weird weather forecast that's going to happen. Yeah. You just go. I've got to get to the next corner. I've got to get up that next little slope. I've got so I'll just get to the next line of trees. So you think of it in, in segments, then, don't you? In absolutely. Bite and you size. get there and you go, well, I've done that bit, um, and so you go on to the next bit. And I think anybody who uh, takes on a, a rescue dog takes yeah. it on in small bits, don't they? they yeah. You, you know, it's it's the same process. You. You so often think you're never going to get the, the, the dog that just fits into your home and fits into your life and yeah. fits into your your family, but you just take each little problem, each little step as you go along, Gosh. and that's, you get there. That's an you incredible analogy. That is an incredible analogy, and that makes so much sense. And it also, I think, demonstrates to anyone that's thinking of getting a rescue dog or they just got one and, and it is hard in, at times where yeah. they know they can do, they can do, they expect it to be bite-sized pieces, expect it, yeah. don't expect it all at once. I was just yeah. on, um, I go on uh, Fox uh, TV here in um, in Vegas once a month on their Pet Pal Pro and I go on and give them tips and all kinds of stuff and I'd just gone on about mm-hmm. training you know, what were my top yeah. tips? And, and, and one of them was patience. Don't expect yeah. too much. Don't expect it all at once. Lots and lots of patience, small steps, uh-huh. big re- big rewards, you know, Absolutely. Uh, positivity. Always, always rewards. Always. I was reading your, um, uh, what's the name of your business? Train Your Canine, yeah? Yes. And I was, I was yeah. written on there, you know, and, it's, and you say it's reward-based. It's positive. It's reinforcement, you know. And yeah. I'm like, yay, someone who who is current on training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, if, well, that, that's <laughs> if I had that, that's, that's Karen's business. Uh, you know, it's it's kind, it's fair, and it's effective. Oh, I love I love that because I'm so yeah. tired of hearing about dominance and you're the pack leader, you're the boss. Show them you're the. Bo-. I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick well, of it. I'm like, if you speak that way, you need to stop training dogs. Stop. You know, and go and get yeah. educated because yeah. w- what archaic method are you using? It just makes Absolutely. me crazy. I mean, the shark collars, the Absolutely. prong collars, the, you know, the, uh, yeah. oh, I mean, that could be a whole other show, couldn't it, Toby? <laughs> it, it could well be. And, uh, you know, I think you're No an, one wants to be treated like that. And, no. Uh, you know. I know. This is it. Yeah. Do you know what? we have? People use their hands and everything to, 
know. not do nice things to yep. a, a dog, and then of course a, 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 a child go, goes sees a dog, and they instinctively, and I know they shouldn't, but instinctively they'll put out their hand, yep. and the dog would go, "I'll have enough of hands." That's right. It's not the dog's fault, yep. and they know what's coming. Know, they know what's they know coming, what's and coming they react and, to that. Um, oh. I'm sure you've been in the same position where you've just just had to wait a very, very long time for your dog to come back, and yeah. it's not been the best behaved dog <laughs> in the world, right. and everything else like that. And people look at you mad because you start to pet it and give it treats. Yeah, it has to come back, <laughs> and you see somebody else shout at their dog, and you think, "Well, it's not going to come back." It, to you again if when it does come back you just stand and shout at it yes it's... it makes no it doesn't connect there's no connection no. it doesn't no. make sense it, it, uh, and people also see natural behaviors of animals as bad behavior just because they don't like it they say oh my yeah. cat was scratching my furniture and i go you're mad at your cat for a natural behavior you can mm -hmm. teach your cat to do scratching posts and other methods it, yeah. quite easily if you yeah. take the time and the effort but it's not a bad behavior. It's a cat behavior. <laughs> it's what they yeah. do. Yeah. And so I said, yes, don't get like mad. chewing. Yeah, barking. Dogs like ripping things up. Yeah. <laughs> get them something that they can rip up. Yes, I thought Gala happy. Jim thought Galaxy had ripped up some tax documents of ours yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. She's got a method. Mm. She puts she put this yeah. big piece of paper under her paw, yeah? So she's now anchored it down. Yeah, she's got a method. She's great. And then yep. bit by bit, she ripped it, and she enjoyed the sound of that. She thought it was the greatest thing. It was mm -hmm. funny to, to run away from me. She, uh, thankfully, it was just a big receipt, and it wasn't any, anything with the tax. Not that it would even bother me anyway, Toby. It really wouldn't. No. Right. I'm like, that stuff you doesn't... You can get another tax receipt. <laughs> yes. you know. I mean, and it's like these people getting mad about my dog. I take my dog down, you know, because it swallowed three socks. And um, you're like, so whose fault is that? Yeah, <laughs> who's Put the fault? Socks somewhere but, your dog can't get it. But you're yeah. mad at the dog yeah. and the cost now yeah. of the surgery and the risk to its health. And whose fault yeah. is that? I like come on, people, you know. But I did love reading that on the website. What is the uh, website yeah. for um, Train Your Canine? Uh, it's uh, it's it's simply that it's, it's a train Train Your Canine with K K nine uh, K and nine and number so. nine and that's dot co dot uk yeah. yeah? Fantastic. Yes, yep. Well, I know Jim's itching yep. to ask you some questions. I showed him the picture of uh -huh. you, you. I've been stalking you, so I looked at your pictures of your velodrome yesterday. Was it yesterday you were at the velodrome, or was it Friday, uh, Thursday? Um, you said a team night yeah. out. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. You're like, I'm, yeah. I'm, like, yeah. I'm yeah. scaring yeah. you now because I've followed yeah. everything. Yes. Well, I'm so, good. So, I'm, I was, uh, so, what, watching what, how, how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> Uh, pick, picking up some tips there, because uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm uh, Tina's arranged. I'm, I'm going to actually finish in a velodrome. Oh, you really? In Spain, down in San Javier. Yeah. Oh um, my God! Because her, ki her kids are the cyclists, aren't they? They are. Gosh. They are. And and clever, clever Tina. She was. She's um, she's uh, sponsored her kit. With oh, the Gal Gal del Sol. She's smart. Uh, so all the children are finding out how what wonderful dogs Galgos are. Oh, and she's, she's, what she's... kind of life they're having. And of course, they're going off Sp all around, racing all around Spain, she's spreading so the word. Smart. They're talking to their, yeah, talking to the parents. Uh, can we have a dog? Do you think we could have a girl go? Oh. You, you, you know, it's all there. And um, she's changing perceptions, um, isn't she? Because they, yeah. they're really looked down on. And and for anyone that's that's not sure what a Galgos dog is, and there's Pedencos as well out there. They were a, they were mm -hmm. a, a very revered kind of dog. And I think mm -hmm. you had to be royalty at one point to own them, you know, have them. Yeah. But they somehow yeah. fell from grace, and and the hunters used them. And then when hunting season's open, they discard them. And in horrible yep, ways. So, so generally, yep. Tina gets them in bad shape, you know. And, mm -hmm. and and the same goes for greyhounds in England with greyhound racing. And, and they're Indeed, abused, yes. big time abused. And uh, there's, been a, there's been a lot going on in Australia. I don't know if you noticed some of the stuff there. It's, it's yeah. bad. It's really, really bad what they do with the yeah. dogs after they, they've done, they're done racing. It's disgusting. So they have a similar yeah. plight, don't they? So I think it makes sense. <laughs> It makes sense yep, that you're you're wanting to help them because they have that same, you know, they don't come in in the best of shape. People look down yep. on them, 
and uh, changing it's, perceptions it, it's hard but it's happening isn't it i mean when, when you've got local it, it is it's it's it's, it's really happening because uh, there are lo- uh, there, 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 there are locals there who are bringing Tina her galgos to to take on because they know they that's a, the best way forward. Yeah. And there's locals actually rehoming them as well. Um, you know, we've we've found here with greyhounds that you know we have greyhound owners who contact us um, and once their dogs are finished racing because they know that they're going to get a really good forever home yeah. and get really well treated. So people's perceptions about about them are are changing, and it's uh, you know and I know that. Without changing people's perceptions, we 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 can we can shout and we can scream mm. and we can do crazy stunts. But if we don't change people's perceptions and and people realise what special dogs these are and what a fantastic uh, thing that they can stay in your life, yeah. Um, they, then all the good work doesn't have an end does it no um, it, it, you, it, know. you have to convey so much more than we need to get them in a home you know yeah. and it and a lot of it is saying yeah. well you know what a great breed they are the fun breed mm. we actually don't see too many greyhounds out here do we jim um we don't no. see a lot you know the italian greyhound maybe we've, we've got that network that rescues the racing greyhounds across the united states which is pretty amazing but uh, yeah. only a few i've seen in the last yeah. decade of paying attention it's really. funny and you don't see like for example we've got a parsons jack russell you don't see many jack russells <laughs> so of course you go back home in england i mean when we go home i'm like oh that looks like my thornton oh that looks like my thornton oh because <laughs> there's so yeah. many of yeah. them and you and, and yeah. in turn you don't see here you don't see many galgos and you don't see many uh pedencos but we do have friends who have them who got there yeah. from tina who live here? Oh, it's yep. the and that's how we learned. About, uh, that's how I learned about Tina with the videos as well. Was from Porsche Carmen. from Carmen and Paul Shortino from Quiet Riot. Is this not the craziest story? So then the friends of ours and um, she'd adopted a dog here who was having trouble with eyelashes growing inwards. If if I recall the story properly, and she just posted it on a picture of her dog and posted it on uh, on social media. And someone said, "Oh, you've got a pedenko," and she went, "A what?" Your dog's a pedenko. Well, she didn't know. So she looked up the breed, and this is when she started to learn about the gal- uh, the galgas and the pedencos and the plight of them, and and, uh, and in turn also eyelashes growing inwards is one of the things that happens with them. But this is how she learned about this dog, was mortified about this breed and what was happening with them in Spain. Paul, if I'm not wrong, was on tour in Spain with Quiet Riot, and I think she either got him to get in touch with tina or go see tina or something like that and that's how that's their connection and um i had them on my show and yeah it's a small it's a small world and you know we were at um an event at christmas called uh santa paws and we Mm -hmm. had a a booth there blah 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 and a lovely lady walked up and i said oh is your dog a galgos and she looked at me like how would you even know that she goes actually it's not it's a greyhound but i do know um uh, how, what, how, what did she say, Jim? She, I said, oh, my... Then we mentioned... I, yeah. I mentioned Tina, I think. I said, oh, because our friend Tina has got... She goes, I know Tina. <laughs> <laughs> she supported her efforts. She yeah. supports her efforts. Yeah. She's in Utah, this lady. She's come down uh-huh. to Vegas for a Santa Paws event. She sees us, and we know Tina. Craziest story ever. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I think they're called but, the Greyhound but, Gang, I think, up there in Utah. I reckon so. Oh, isn't that amazing, so. though? But, but the thing is, you know, both galgos and, and greyhounds uh, and, and lurchers, they, they can be quite big dogs. Yes. But they're just so gentle, yeah. just so affectionate, and they don't need a lot of exercise. They're, it's a, it's a myth, know. isn't it? It's a myth. Yeah. Because a lot yeah. of people go, oh, Half my. Now, 40 minutes, poodle around, maybe a quick spur if they're in the mood. Right. To, to sort of burst burn off that burst of energy i mean it's eight hours on your sofa yeah They're just perfect <laughs> companions you know, you know? Great. unless of course you want to sit on your sofa um, right but they are just the most affectionate that's what know, comes across in all those videos with you yeah um cur- curl up somewhere yeah yeah share a biscuit on your sofa oh. nudge you gently with a nose for, for for an ear scratch it's they're wonderful. I think those videos yeah. of Tina's really convey that. 
you that yeah. what that that gentle breed is and yeah it's yeah. it's a myth yeah you don't need to be an olympic runner to have a greyhound or a gal uh, goes uh, or a no. i don't know um, if you remember mate. mind you if you are an olympic runner it would get help a <laughs> get a get, lurch yeah, yeah. Get, get a lurch yeah, yeah. Get, uh, you know, Lurch is a, a sight hound cross with any other hound, uh, any other type of dog, and, you know, get the right Lurch. And if you want to run 20 miles, there are, there are Lurches that will run 20 miles with you. Amazing. And um, and uh, either Forever Hounds Trust or, or Galgo will point you in the right direction for, for the right dog. So, you know, Toby, my yeah. favorite story, my very first trip ever since we had been married uh, to the U.K., I have a fa- I have a favorite pub, by the way. I guess everyone has a favorite pub, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, my favorite pub is called the Hewitt Arms in Thorpe Salvin. Oh, uh, yeah, outside Sheffield, your big country estate. Uh, interesting backstory: the the owner's father was a World War II uh, RAF pilot from Poland, and uh-huh. uh, is the only Polish lord in all of Great Britain. He bought the land and bought the title Came after the, the war. Title, and stayed yeah. stayed after the mm-hmm. war. He, he was in an RAF squadron there. Uh, but, you know, lakes and, and woods and this beautiful old country pub. And the first time my brother-in-law took me um, to a pub when we went to England was this Hewitt Arms at nighttime in the cold, in the rain. And we walked inside this big oak door. And right there at the fireplace uh, were stood around some farmers with their Wellingtons and uh, greyhounds laid right by the fire. <laughs> Isn't that the best yeah. visual? <laughs> yeah. You know. I mean, and this is not what we see here, Toby. It's Depending on what city you're in as well, because there's all these ordinances and whatever. Yeah. San Diego is super pet friendly. Here, not mm-hmm. so much in Vegas. It really isn't. You know, it, people would, you know, yeah. stare at you if you took your dog to, you know, eat on the patio and freak out. Um, but, yeah, in England, it's just so, it's so different. You know, you're in the pub yeah. and there's a dog, you know. It's like, because we, we, yeah. we do see them as part of the family. And and yes. why wouldn't you want to just integrate them fully into your life and be with you as much as you can anyway? So, uh, but yeah, he yeah. liked. He really, really liked that. I said, well, "You definitely were in a traditional pub there, that's for sure." You know, with a big roaring fire yeah. and the farmers there. Well, you know what? Hang oh, on one sorry. second, Toby, because what we're going to do is going to run some commercials because Jim's going to talk to you about training and equipment and all that good stuff. And then we'll uh-huh. and then we'll cycle. I'm going to get you to try to convince her to let me get a new bicycle. <laughs> is what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> and then we're going to cycle back around. Do you like my little segue there? Isn't that clever? Uh, to yeah. how people can donate and how they can help you and all that good stuff. So so hang on in there. We'll be right back. And uh, you're listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio with me, Sam, your host, the Queen of Rock and Roll. Dot. Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Pets. People. Pop culture. Vegas Rock Dog Radio Pets, People, Pop Culture At Carl's Jr. not only do we make you happy with our delicious charbroiled burgers but we also make your dogs happy When you come through our drive through with your furry friend we'll offer your dog a treat If not, always ask for one We love to see their smiling faces Our website, Carl's Jr. of Las Vegas.com, has a treat for its customers too, with free coupons anytime, so be sure to visit us regularly. Carl's Jr. is a proud and active supporter of dog adoption in our community. You can find us at Carl's Jr. of Las Vegas or on Twitter at Carl's Jr. of Vegas. Pet Scene Magazine is dedicated to Las Vegas pets and the people who love them. It's a source of news and information for pet lovers, as well as offering valuable coupons and specials on pet products and services. Find them online at www.lvpetscene.com or look for them on Facebook. Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Pets. People. Pop culture. Welcome back, everyone. Ooh, got a little echo there. Woohoo. <laughs> got some sound effects going on. Uh, welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio. I'm Sam. I'm your host. I'm known as the Queen of Rock and Roll Dogs. I've had that name, that moniker, for over 10 years, way before I even did, did radio. So um, it's, it's stuck around. People used to call Jim and I the, the King and Queen of. Oh, what the the rock and roll king and queen of dogs, didn't they? Because we started with a clothing company for dogs. That's how all this started. So that's why I have that name, and it's been around forever. So who I have on the line is Toby Borum. Is that correct, Borum? Yes, yeah, correct. Yes, Tony yeah. Borum. 
And Tony yep. is riding from, what did you say, Jim? I'm just my, my You're mouthing. What do you want? Mining. I thought you said Tony. <laughs> no, Toby. I love that name too. Toby's is such a great name. Uh, Toby is cycling from the UK um, and all the way over to Spain. And that is a feat in itself. Uh, <laughs> and he's going to be benefiting <laughs> two charities, which is the Forever Hands Trust in England and the Galgos de Sol in Spain. So Jim's got some questions for you. Well, aside from trying to persuade me to l let him buy an expensive bike, but what are uh -huh. your questions, Jim? Well, you know, Toby, once you get into cycling, you know, you start get acquiring a, a high appetite for <laughs> high-end equipment, don't you? <laughs> y you do. Because yes. there is a Lighter, difference when when faster. you yeah when you ride, you know the difference in quality. You know the difference in yeah um, mechanisms and drivetrains and and. Uh, but yeah, my I've been mountain biking since the inception of mountain biking, and uh, I bought my first mountain bike in 1986 when I was yep. at university. And you know, back when we knew some of the guys that were designing mountain bikes. Wow. And yeah. uh, so I, I've been doing that for most of my life, and I've slacked off a little bit because of work and time considerations. But uh, I really want to get into road cycling. So when I found mm -hmm. out about you, I'm like, oh, well, there's my there's my ticket. There's my ticket to <laughs> it's not meant, it's not meant to be about you, Jim. You know, <laughs> it's like okay, so here's what uh, I want. I want a touring road frame, uh, but I'm I'm interested in uh, the new disc brake technology and road bikes. And I was really wondering why the cycling racing world is slow to embrace the new braking technology. Uh, difficult to change a wheel. Really? Now, see, as uh, a yeah, mountain biker, uh, that, that <laughs> makes no sense to me. It's simple. <laughs> yeah, but you're talking about guys who um, cycle around France for, for, for three weeks and then win by two minutes, and <laughs> it's all fractions of a second. Um, right. Not like me, who uh, kind of gets to a t stop and think it's worth standing here and w looking at the view for a second. Um, or... That's a nice pub. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, in a, it is, it's, it's about those fractions of a second uh, that, these, that these guys and um, the little bit more weight that they have to carry. And um, as I say, you know, you can cycle two and a half thousand miles in three weeks and then win or lose a race by two minutes. So small small little margins so uh, I, I believe um, a Dutchman has just won the first um, race using disc brakes so they, they, they're coming in they're coming in you know it's it, my limited experience with riding road bikes especially in adverse conditions is I'm you know I'm used to the power of mountain bike braking and uh, mm -hmm. get, getting on a road bike with uh, traditional side pulls and having to brake in wet conditions freaks me out yeah Yes. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's, it is a little bit more fun. Um, <laughs> can I put it that way? But uh, um, anyway, I, you, you're trying to go as fast as you can. What, what are you trying to put the brakes on for? Yeah, there you go, Jim. There you go. Um, that, there's the answer. You know, That's the nugget. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the nugget. It's not a good answer, but it's an answer. You know, we have. Uh, we... You get used to them. We have big, long, long uh, rides out here in the West. I mean, big open spaces, you know. So the, uh, <laughs> you know, the the uh, the touring style frames, and you know, getting getting some uh, stress off the back and neck is important out here because you know, we've we've got uh, over 250 miles of interconnecting bike paths in our valley, wow. in addition yeah. to the to the freeways and the road systems. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of road cycling, and it's a lot of wide open cycling, not not a lot of uh, wow you know elbow, yeah. elbow jockeying when we first moved to uh -huh. when we first moved to vegas we used to live in nashville before we lived here you remember that time jim that i did the first 20 miles do you remember that the first 20 my first 20 miles straight remember that oh that's right yeah and and then and you got wet and muddy too oh i, I, <laughs> I decked it big time and i loved it <laughs> i was covered in dirt and hurt and i thought it was great and then we moved to vegas and elevations are quite different and we there's a, a, a pl an area called um red rock and it's a is, is it a national mark? It's a, it's mar a national park? recreation area. Okay, and yep. what's the elevation, Jim? Oh goodness, there's a there's about a forty five hundred foot elevation change inside of uh, 
15 miles. So every, everyone's, wow. everyone's like, you need to go and do the Red Rock Loop. Oh, I thought I was going to die. And it was March. Yeah. It was March, and uh, we were still burnt. It was unbelievable, wasn't it, Jim? But thankfully, once you get to the top, it's all downhill from there. But uh, that was quite, quite well, a... I, I try to explain to her, Toby, that, hey, you know what? You climb the elevations while you have the energy, and then the rest of the ride is easier. But sometimes you run yes. out of the energy before you get to the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you keep on talking like that, people are going to go, but you know, therefore you only could be cycling 750 miles. Because <laughs> surely only 750 miles of it is up. Right, <laughs> yeah. If you have 750, you must be coasting downwards. But, uh, exactly. If anyone's been on a bicycle, they know that's not strictly <laughs> true. But, um, so what kind of bike yeah. are you going to be riding on? It's, um, it's a still general tourer. It's the same one that gets me my six miles to work and back every single day um it's not the lightest thing in the world but boy is it comfortable it's it's a kind of thing that you can sit on and twiddle legs and just point in a general direction and it it will get you there it's not the fastest thing in the world uh but it's easy to maintain and it's comfortable to ride and if you're going to be sitting in a saddle for eight hours a day, mm. you you you've got to be comfortable. So, so yeah, um, the, I was gonna yeah. I was gonna ask you. You know, aluminum has to be too abusive on long distance cycling to be uh to be that comfortable. So you're you are riding a steel frame. On um, well, yes, it, it's it soaks up the bumps. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, it, a steel has a little bit of flex in it. Carbon fibers a little bit harder much lighter so you can go faster up the hills but um for for all day comfort i'd, I'd choose a steel frame and um i i i've got i've got a lovely bike i did land's engine to john groats on it um and it it, it just fits you, you know it's yeah. you can you can have a really smart pair of shoes you look really good in it but boy do they pinch Mm. Um, or you can have your old pair of walking boots, which you wear day in, day out, and it just fits. Right. And, and that's that's the bike for me. Right. See, Sam. Now that's that's why I need to look at titanium <laughs> for my bike as well. Mm -hmm. See where this is we going. Need to, we need yeah. to go. We need to go for. We need to go for the the frame that that fits and flexes. <laughs> yeah. The, the old pair of and, shoes. And 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 every every course, every little ride really needs its, its its own specific bikes for you to get the max out of it i've been telling Will her that, that for years i'm so glad you're here Will that do? i've been telling her that for years well you know you what? need the right yeah. tool for the job you know what jim you get you, you get that Absolutely. bike and guess what you're doing a charity ride that's oh, funny. that that will be the that will be the uh, the two way street. Toby, then. I'm calling Steamboat Springs today and calling Moots. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Yep. Did anybody um, has anyone sponsored any of your equipment? Have you been able to manage any of that? Yes, we've uh, we've we've got uh, we're always looking out for sponsors, um, but we've got two sponsors so far. We've got East Ruston Cottages uh, here in the UK, which <gasps> are really they're I, not just. I saw that picture. Yeah. I saw that picture. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> now, the, the, these people, they're just not dog tolerant. You know, you get yeah. these thing people say, oh, we're dog friendly. friendly. And, what they, and, and you go there and they go, you can have that corner over there. Yes. Now, if that's not dog friendly, that's yep. dog tolerant. That's right. Um, East Ross and Cottages are really, really dog friendly. Even their gardens are dog proof, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's fantastic. Uh, we've got top notch goods in Liverpool. Um, who have given us some money and said, right, you go off and buy whatever you need oh. kit-wise and so I can get all logoed up um, uh, uh, to do that. So that's that's really good. Uh, Vets for Pets here in the Northwest um, have uh, allowed us to put their posters and charity pots in all their branches oh, uh, so far. That's really that's good. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, and we're going to set off from from uh, their Chester practice on the 30th of July. Uh, and then we've got events in Hereford, Bath, Bristol and Portsmouth here in the UK. Wonderful. And 
building on building uh, on on that uh, for two weeks. Um, are are you going to so do? Are you going to do any kind of live streaming? You know, like Facebook Live. Uh, we're planning to, yeah. Great, yep. because planning I, to, yep. I'm, I'm so, seeing such uh, amazing results from that. Uh, we had a friend yeah. who um, did a triathlon while in the middle of um, cancer treatment, radiation, wow. chemotherapy, stage four yeah. cancer. And if it, I, if I think if it wasn't for those live videos and, and some pre-recorded stuff that he did, I don't think he would have had as much support as he got from that and it was he'd say yeah. literally on these videos i really need your help this is getting really hard and yeah. the people cheering him on was phenomenal so i think that's going to really we work need, in your favor we need toby to be in touch with the brother-in-law at sherwood pines toby my brother-in-law is uh, uh an employee there for the forestry commission and another avid cyclist right in your backyard yeah he's he's uh wow. he's sponsors a lot of cycling events there at sherwood pines now he's been instrumental yeah in, he's, in, uh, his office is in sherwood forest increasing cycling <laughs> awareness wow yeah, yeah. In, in the wild but they do a lot of cycling yeah. stuff in fact they've got one coming up and he, wor- and, he some works with a, and he works with a lot of the bike manufacturers they they come out and do demos uh days out at sherwood pines and such so I'll yeah w- we need to offline uh Make sure you guys are connected. Yeah, yeah we'll get you connected oh, most definitely. Brilliant. God, that's Fantastic. amazing. And w- what we'll do is we'll share. I mean, we'll we're we're the type of people that <laughs> we're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, everybody needs to know about this. We're going to tell everybody about this. This is really important. Oh, and of course, I'm still majorly connected with being back home yep. and with a lot of you know rescues and stuff over there. So yeah, we'll be yeah we'll be tooting our horn for you. Um, now, if if people want to donate, where do they go to donate? Um, if they uh, are. But we uh, we've got uh, PayPal. Okay. So that's PayPal dot dot me forward slash Toby UK two. Right. Uh, the number two Spain. Uh, we've got GoFundMe dot com forward slash Toby UK to Spain. Wonderful, because we'll put those so links up you know, as well. And you know, I'm already thinking ahead too. We need Toby to one of Toby's rides to make it past June and see the hedgehog rescue. Oh, we love June from the uh, West Midlands Hedgehog Rescue. We love uh-huh. Joan. She, um, I think she, uh, if I'm not wrong, I think that she's looked after, was it over 400 hedgeho- baby hedgehogs this season? This year, yeah. Almost single-handedly. I mean, she does most of the work. She works 19 hours a day. But she's uh, she's in she's West Midlands. She, uh, she won this amazing award alongside Bill Oddie and flipping Brian May who she hangs out uh-huh. with. Um, and I think she's wow. in her early 70s, isn't she, Joan? Yeah. And we love yeah. her. Oh, my God. It'd be so amazing if you cycle past Joan. and her ho- She calls it hospital. Not uh, <laughs> That's where she looks after the hedgehogs is a hospital. Oh, my gosh. Uh-huh. It's so fantastic. Well, it might sound as if there could be another slight diversion to <laughs> the route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And she'll Absolutely. have a glass of Lambrini with you because she loves Lambrini. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's me. It sounds about right, <laughs> so, doesn't it? So we are, we are. Well, Lambrini is an energy drink for cyclists, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think alcohol's got, you know, a certain amount of special energy in it. But special energy, painkiller, cycling recovery. Yeah. Yes, it would yeah. probably just numb everything, which could be a very good thing. Now, are you going to have massages on the way, or any of that? Or are you going to just rub your own feet? Well, how's that going to go? <laughs> um. Uh, I, I, I've got. I will probably have uh, at least at least one massage uh, going along. But um, Karen has. Uh, she's really good. Um, she looks after me anyway. Let me tell you something. Um, she's organised. I, I tell you something. When I reached out, yeah. boom, replied straight back. I said, "This is what I need." Next yeah. thing you know, I've got everything. I'm like, and I said to her, "Oh, you're so organised. I so appreciate this." And, uh, Be- because and, often uh, it's piecemeal stuff when we have guests coming on. I'm like, "Oh, can you still send us your hedgehog? Can you still, you know?" She was like, "I'm organised. Yeah. Here it is." Yeah. And I so appreciate uh, Karen yeah. doing yes. that. Uh, as it was known, she is absolutely all over it. So she's uh, as always. She's uh, she's she's going to look after me uh and and to make sure that um yeah i I'll, i've got my food i've got my water i'll, I'll rub the sore bits and uh What's leave me well <laughs> alone when i need to be left alone and yes. everything else and uh feed, feed me caffeine in the morning so what, uh, what's so your yeah. average daily calorie intake do you know uh whenever you're uh, embarking on these long distance rides do you, do you have to keep a certain minimum calorie count um, 
Uh, I do, do you know what? I, I I used to be able to reel these things off, but um, yes, I do. Um, I I make my own flapjacks. Oh, yummy! I basically, it, yummy for the first three days. <laughs> After that, it's just like oh goody, more flapjacks. Make them with um, make them with condensed milk. They're even more tastier. Oh, I put condensed milk. I change them. Put nuts in them. Dried fruit. Anything to give you. Change, but um, <laughs> and you just after a while crave some savoury at the end of it. But um, no, I, I I tend to have one of those about every what every twenty minutes, every half an hour. <gasps> oh my goodness! So you are fueling constantly then? Absolutely constantly. You you just got a uh, every bit of energy that that leaves your body. You've got to pretty much instantly replace. Um, otherwise, that's um, really interesting. You, d- you don't get to the end of the day. So um, if you don't do that, uh, wow. No. That's amazing. But, um, I, I, like I said, it's inspirational and it's crazy at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what date do you set? Thank what, you. What date do you set off? Uh, set off on the thirtieth of July. Okay, so uh, oh, so you're going to go through some weather, aren't you? You know, as you get to uh, France and whatever. Yeah, I'm planning on good weather this time. Yeah. <laughs> good weather, and uh, going to finish um, on the. 14th of August in Saint Javier. Will other people uh, join you along the way? And sorry, you know, it's 12th of August. 12th, yeah, 12th, <laughs> making yeah, 12th sure. 12th of August. Otherwise, it's not going to be 14 days. But yeah, 12th. Sorry. Do other people join in with you and ride legs with you? Uh, you know, locals in, uh, in the areas that you're riding. Uh, yes, but um, some some did when I did the Lands End to John O'Groats and. Um, there's going to be a whole gang of us setting off here from Chester, oh. and I've, um, I've I've got a mate there who lives in France near uh, near near Cognac. Uh, yeah, the cycling world super really is su- is supportive. Yeah, that's um, really really amazing. And, uh, he's he's going to do, do some cycling with me. So, uh, and if other people want to join join in join in the madness. Yes. More than welcome. Yes. More than welcome. I mean, it really is. It's, it's incredible. And I think people really appreciate um, what you're going to do for these uh, for these dogs. It's, Thank it's, you. Because that's, like you say, it's not a walk in the park. It's really not a walk in the park. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. But uh, we, we've got two very special hounds in, in our life. We've got Rowan, we've got Eric. Oh, um, I love their names. It, it's, um, it was. There were some very special people who helped to bring them into our lives. Um, brought brought them in when they needed rescuing, transported them. Oh um, wow! So, do you know what? If if we can do it uh, and help other people get their special hounds in in their life, whether they're from Britain, yeah, Ireland, Spain, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Um, well, you know, we would like to do that. That's amazing. Well, uh, on that note, I've got one last question for you. Uh-huh. So in one word, what do your your dogs mean to you in one word? They're family. There you go. They, yeah, they are, aren't they? They really, they really are. They are part of your your family and therefore part of your life. And treat them as such, you know. It's uh, I, I get upset when I see people see them outside. I leave their dogs outside, and I go make them family and bring them inside. Uh, yeah, that's what you need uh, to do. The more time and, and energy uh, you spend with your dog, for, as you do with anybody, with your children, yeah, or, uh, whatever, uh, your relationship grows, and as your relationship grows, you it brings more happiness into your life. Oh, doesn't it, it uh, doesn't uh, it just? You know, that's the perfect word, absolutely. though, family. Well, Toby, this has been such a great interview. I'm so glad we made this happen. Uh, this is going to go up you. on an archive. I'm tell you, I'm going to tell you this now. It'll be a popular show. It'll be a really popular <laughs> show, and we'll stay up there, and people will get to keep, continually keep learning about what you're doing all the way up to you, you know, starting the ride itself in July, and, and we're going to blast it out to as many people as we possibly know. I'm going to think of anyone that might be interested in sponsoring as well as donating. Uh, just because mm-hmm. I am still connected with tons of people back in England. And uh, here's my little connection. I lived in Spain also. My mom uh, lives in uh, Mal- uh, in Malaga. 
So I promised uh-huh. Tina next time I'm out in Spain, I'm driving up to Murthia to see her. I think it's only like a three and a half hour drive, which is nothing for us because we're used to driving down to LA four, four and a half hours, yeah. and we think that's nothing. Yeah. You know, it's all relative, isn't it? So, so that's so. And, I, and I, when you do, you'll meet you'll meet Granny Pants and Hank. I know. I love. I just you love know. their little characters, yeah. and they've just. They've done a, a beautiful job of, of raising this amazing awareness and changing the lives yeah. of these dogs. It, it's lovely to see that progress, isn't it? It's just, it's, it is. you just go, it wow, is. I remember when it was this and now look what it's turning yeah. into. And yeah. I only see even more, but more and more uh, things coming Tina's way. I do think she needs to write a book. <laughs> because yeah. Or a movie yeah. because what yeah. that she's yeah. been through is crazy. Yeah. Uh, to get where Absolutely. she is, and she and she just Absolutely. stuck with it even when it was really really hard. Well, I yeah. look for at some point we're going to meet. You know that, don't you, Toby? Because when we go back yeah. home, we'll make a point. I hope so. And I really uh, hope so. we'll have to do a little tour, Jim. You know, we'll go see Toby. We'll go see Joan, Hedgehog Joan. She, I call her the Hedgehog Lady of England. I mean, there's uh, there's a lot of people that we uh, have to go and see. I I had talked about possibly doing an event. Because we do tons of events here, tons of events. And so with the network that we've kind of built in England as well, it would just be really cool to put some kind of a a, a dog-related event together and just get all these people together that we've met, you know, and particularly people that have been on the show. So, uh, well, we're going to wish you tons and tons of luck. We know you're going to do it. Yeah, uh, that's great. I'm jealous. I'd love to be doing it with you. Yeah, and we'll connect you with my brother-in-law, Mark. Um, Thank you. I, because yes. I think there could be something that could happen there, and whether it's a little bit of promotion mm-hmm. or some sponsorship, I think absolutely it could happen. And um, a big thank you to to Karen for sending us all your info, <laughs> getting us all cool hooked up. Uh, <laughs> that was really important. Oh no, she's so, she's brilliant. She's brilliant. Well, I want you to have a wonderful weekend. I'm sure. Are you doing some training? You. you probably are, aren't you? Do a little training. I'm just getting over a really really heavy cold. Oh no. So uh, yeah, it's it's. Um, my, my training at the moment is uh, consuming huge amounts of vitamin C. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and I've seen a weather forecast for tomorrow, and it's not looking good. So, oh, goodness. Uh, it'll be, it, it's got to happen. It's yeah, happen that's now, right. It's really, really going to hurt. Well, um, you have a really great weekend hanging out with your you. dogs on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we will uh, we will speak to you soon. I am sure we'll get an update from you most definitely. And uh, really, ap- really appreciate your time because uh, I know it's it's getting late back home in England now. So thank you so much. It's been absolutely brilliant, as we like to say in England. <laughs> Thanks, Toby. And uh, thank you. And we'll thank be we'll, we'll 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 be friends. That's it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thanks, love. Um, so everyone, you. if you've, Bye, en- if you've en- enjoyed the show and in particular you want to support Toby, head on over to our Facebook page because we'll be able to uh, share those links with you. You can donate, you can sponsor or share that information. We know how important that is to share the information and uh, we would really appreciate that. And we know that Toby would and the two rescues that he is benefiting from that, uh, from that ride. So it's time to close the show. Remember. You can help an animal in need, either rescue, adopt, donate, volunteer, sponsor Toby, or share their information. Rescue your next family member, replace the word shop with adopt, and be kind to all animals. Big thank you to Toby for being on the show. Thank you, Jim, uh, for running the show and also asking some questions about the whole uh, cycling aspect of it. And uh, take a moment to run over to uh, Toby's page, and it's Toby UK to Spain. And head on over there, like the page, tell all your friends. And um, that's it. You've been listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio, where it's all about pets, people, and pop culture. I'm your host, Sam, the queen of rock and roll dogs. And always kiss your pets. Good morning and good night. And I'll see you next time. Vegas. Welcome to Barking Dogs self Hello, this is Jim and Vegas Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Pets, people, pop culture. You've been listening to Vegas Rock Dog Radio. Pets, people, pop culture.